Welcome back. Varicose veins aren't just unsightly. The swelling, itching, and pain can make you tired and uncomfortable. And they may be a symptom of a more serious problem, too. But now there's a new and very exciting FDA-approved way of treating varicose veins. And it's perfect for people who do not like needles. And Doc who does like yeah. them, right? I don't know. Right. <laughs> Dr. Deborah Mangioni is the medical director of the Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpot to tell us a little bit more about it. Good to see you again. Good morning. Nice to be here. Looking beautiful in your red for, for Go Red. That's right. Um, okay, let's talk about this. This is a, a new type of management for varicose vein That's disease. That's right. I mean, certainly over the last 15 years, there have been tremendous advances. And we, of course, use laser closure often. So these are all closures from the inside of the vein, things that we can do where you don't just strip the veins out. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, there's this new thing called Varathena, which is a, an FDA-approved drug device that we have been using the drug for years. And actually, we've been using it on smaller veins, but now just since the end of August, it was approved for larger veins because now it's commercially wow. available with an actual compressed oxygen um, canister. So is this topical? No, this is where th these are different studies. These are also some of our our surgeries where we've done laser and cl and removal of varicose mm -hmm. veins. But some of these are also some Varathena pictures. And the Varathena will actually close the trunk vein that we have had to laser in the past. So for specific people, it works beautifully. Mm. It just takes one little injection, and we make a foam that we inject. So And you have the example we, here. I'm going to just move yeah. our papers a little bit here. Because um, the pictures are quite dramatic. Right. And we do veins of all kinds, of course. We can handle them in every different way. And it's just nice to have one additional thing to add to our armamentarium so that we can offer all kinds of treatments for people with varicose vein disease, spider vein disease, or whatever. We have a good shot of it. Yeah, so, so this hold is that. the canister. Mm -hmm. So it's a special syringe. And we can just fill the syringe with a very dense foam, as you see. OK. OK. And then when we take it off, when this foam is injected into a vein, it pushes the blood out of the way because it's such a dense foam. So the, the detergent, the, the chemical that's sclerosing the vein does not get diluted by the blood. Okay. And so this is in very good contact with the vein wall what ha on the inside. What happens is the vein goes into tremendous spasm. So it goes from a wide open tube to a very tightly closed tube. So mm -hmm. the blood is ejected out of the vein. There's less blood there. This is in contact with the wall of the vein and can irritate and damage the inner wall of the vein so the vein stays closed. It gets stuck together in and scars. And that's the goal. You want and it to close. that's the goal, right. Mm -hmm. And to help me understand how this is maybe um, better for people, in particular people who are afraid of needles. Because it's one needle stick to do the whole thing. Wow. Oh, okay. So we numb the skin with a tiny little needle and then using ultrasound guidance, I'm able to go into the vein with just one little needle uh, and with this, type of uh, foam that we inject, mm -hmm. it, we're able to watch it with ultrasound all the way up the vein as it progresses its way mm. up and we get to a certain point, that's all there is. Wow, because normally it would be several pricks or things like, like that within we the use, vein. Just because we need anesthetic. Okay. No, it's one prick within the vein ever. That's okay. all we do from when we're doing it from the inside. We thread a laser up, they don't feel that. But what they then have to have is an anesthetic also gotcha. injected. And so some people are just so tense and worried about that. Most people who've gone through it say, yeah. oh my God, the anxiety <laughs> that I had ahead of time was not worth what I just right. went through, uh -huh. you know, that it was nothing. But there are people who really are concerned about that. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. it is a much less of a procedure as far as the number of needles, mm -hmm. how long it takes, and it works very well. Now, we often will customize the procedure to the patient. Yeah. You know, that's what we, I think we do very well. And the Wisconsin Vein Center of MediSpa was the first place in Wisconsin yes. chosen to utilize Absolutely, this. Absolutely, to use Varathena, because we have such a large volume of patients that we see and that we've worked with now for 12 and a half years that we were chosen to use this first in the state uh, once it became available. And we've done several people now with very good results. Mm -hmm. It's all done in the office. Done in the office. Uh, with local anesthetic just for one little spot injection. Um, people, this is covered by insurance companies almost all the time, but really? we have to go through the same process of writing the letter, waiting mm -hmm. for authorization, but most insurance companies now are covering this procedure. You treat everything from spider veins to varicose veins right. and other skin problems as that's, well. That's exactly right, and people who have extensive vein disease with ulceration or whatever they have, we're able to treat. Do you think that a lot of people have put off treating varicose veins? because of their fear of needles? I think because of their fear of needles, because of their fear of surgery, because yeah. of the stories they've heard from their mothers or grandmothers mm -hmm. and people in the past who had vein strippings in the hospital where they were hospitalized for days, unable to walk around, blood loss, large incisions, sutures, none of that is necessary it's just not anymore. not true anymore, right? We're able the recovery to do everything in the office and the recovery so is immediate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are able to walk around immediately. They'll have a stocking on to wear for a week or so. 
but they're able to get up and walk out right after the procedure, yeah. any of the procedures we do. Thank you for wearing um, red today, and I just wanted to give you a real quick opportunity to talk because as a former cardiothoracic yes. surgeon and someone who's worked with heart patients before, I know this is something that's close to your heart. It absolutely is, and you know, I think that the, the campaign to highlight that women get heart disease and it's the leading killer of women has been so important. I think finally, it seems like we're educating the public about yeah. this. It was very hard for many years to make people aware, even doctors aware of when a woman comes into the emergency room with chest discomfort or with shortness of breath or with um, neck pain or something that's atypical, it could be heart disease. Mm -hmm. And so women still have to be their own best advocates and know that if something doesn't feel right and they're really concerned about it, keep pushing to make sure that the heart disease is investigated because that could be what's going on. And this is all ages for women, right? Yes, it is. It can, it can really be a problem for women of any age. Usually, you know, the majority of women get it later than men. Mm -hmm. and so that's why it was not considered a disease of women because we ha our natural estrogens protect us up to menopause. Okay. But women who've had a family history of either early cardiac disease in their father or their mother or other women in the family especially, they pay need attention. to pay attention to that and get evaluated much more early and be followed okay. so that people can be sure that they're addressing the issue. Great good information. information. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for speaking to that, too. I appreciate you wearing sure. red today. The Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpa is located in Pewaukee on Georgetown Drive. Call right now for an appointment because the consultation is absolutely free, and you can talk about their full complement of treatments for veins of all different sorts. 262-746-9088 or go to wimedispa.com. And the procedure we talked about today, again, is Verathena. Yeah. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate it.